Hello everyone and welcome to the bronze match in the gender difference tournament. After losing to defending champion Texas Man Gaming in the semi-final, a third place, a bronze medal is the best that we can get. To get there though, we have to beat Spempai Terranon. Spempai Terranon was fourth in Swiss, faced Storm in the semis, and uh, lost that battle. So, the final will be between Texas Man Gaming, the defending champion, and Debutante Storm. So, Texas Man Gaming will 1-1 one, one to get a consecutive title, and 2, stop Storm from being another Debutante that wins a tournament. Meanwhile, I'm here against Spampai Terra 9. Guess what they have on their team? Weavile! And as I've realized at this point in the tournament, Weevil isn't as frail as I remember. I just remember being pretty much a glass cannon. But it doesn't have like 40 defenses or like 50 defenses like I thought. It's more like 70, 80 still. So it's a lot more than I thought it would have. Uh, which has definitely made it harder to deal with than I thought it would be. They also have a Scizor. Which is also one of the things that I thought of. Uh, one of the things I change after this tournament is something to counter ice types and scissor will be an amazing thing for that i'd probably replace hippowdon with scissor and then um change garchomp's ability to rough skin and then i'd be pretty happy with that not sure what but moves they give scissor I, i'm not gonna think too much about that considering i it will probably be some time before we do this tournament again if we do it ever again maybe something some special rule will return anyway it's time for the battle for third place. Weavile, Scissor, we've seen Tangrowth and good amount of teams before, and Garchomp. They also have Alakazam and Pyroar. I say that, but I just realized that we actually faced them in round two, so we've seen this team before. But it's been a while since I recorded that, so I forgot, so... Oops, another reason to catch up with the videos. That's why I'm putting them out pretty quickly. Trying to catch up and then get to the tournament we're at right now. Anyway, let's go! They saw it, Scizor. I saw with the future. Yawn. That is the way I want to go. Bug might deal so much damage I decided not to reflect. I reflect here to have set something of this. Switch to Weavile. I switch to Hippowdon. Want to keep me out the game for later to set up another screen. Fake on. I probably knew that was coming considering I faced Mempa before and I knew their team pretty well. I still crash. Doesn't deal much damage thanks to my defense's HP. Not as much percent. Anyway, Weavile is switched out. Tangrowth comes in. I set up the stealth arc for the future. I don't really like Tangrowth being there, probably going to do some bad things to Hippowdon. So, Rosie comes in, my standard switch in for Tangrowth. Takes quite a lot of damage from that Sludge Bomb, but it's okay. It can, I can manage that. Alexam comes in, Sludge Bomb deals a lot of damage. Alexam is faster though, normally on base speed, so I switch back into Sandy. Sandstream is activated again. They Shadow Ball, likely predicting a switch to something. Yeah, probably, maybe Meow Stick or something. Even then, Meow Stick would have been taken out. I slack off healing more HP than they can deal with Shadow Ball. However, I have a special defense drop and that's not something I like. I have Earthquake here. That worked well with them using Calm Mind. Alakazam is gone. Weevil takes the damage from Stealth Rock. I approve of that. If I can just make the Weevil keep switching, that's good. I want to go for Earthquake here, but that doesn't work. They flinch me with High School Crash. Not looking good. Do I hit this? Survive this? No. There's actually a critical hit. That might have not mattered, actually. Icicle Crash and Devastator. Devastator survives it. No Dragon Dancer, so that might be annoying with speed. I do have an attack increase here now. Outrage, and that's Devastator gone. No way the Devastator is going to do any sweeps here. The future comes back in, sets up Reflect, is taken out. I knew they would Outrage. They have another Outrage to come, so send a Spaghetti with his high defenses. Reflect is up as well, and I have Regenerate to heal later. I know I can get a safe Hidden Power Ice off. Even get a crit, so that's a lot of damage. They do Iron Head. But the, it doesn't flinch me, so I can take them out with an Earthquake. Tangrowth comes in. That likely didn't switch, by the way, because they knew Stealth Rock would otherwise take them out anyway. So that does make sense. Sludge Bomb doesn't do much damage to Ryoga. I decide to set up. Do they have Hidden Power Ice? No. I'm pretty sure this was the team where I knew all four of their moves uh, very early on in round two. I think that was it. Outrage, critical hit. Take out the Tangrowth. Looking very good there. As I say here in the chat, I'm very good at getting lucky at critical moments. That Hyper Voice and Pyro are an interesting move there, but it makes sense considering it's also a normal type. 
flamethrower. I don't have a life screen up. Haven't had that for the entire fight. Earthquake. They flamethrower again. Do take out spaghetti. It's just rosary left. If I could just get rid of pyro, I can take scissor. But fire is faster and flamethrowers. Ooh, on Rosa, and even though we beat Spenpai Taranon in round two of Swiss, it is Spenpai Taranon who now takes a 1-0 lead. They say they had a game plan before this tournament, before this battle, to beat me. Apparently the battle didn't go according to plan, but it went well enough that they took victory. Spenpai Taranon is now just one win away from getting another podium finish, which they've had quite a few of. I don't like that. I want to at least get back on that podium. I don't want to get fourth. Let's get into battle two. Sandy goes out first now against their Sizzler once again. They Swords Dance. I Stealth Rock and them Swords Dancing. I don't really mind because I know I have the power of Whirlwind. Get rid of Sizzler. Pyro comes in. 24% damage. 25 really. Maybe round it off. That's why it says 24. They switch into Tangrowth. D didn't want to take my Earthquake. I slack off to heal some HP. Switch. Rose Raid in. Energy Ball. Resist that. That's good. I like to see that. I Sludge Bomb. Hopefully I can just hit that, I think. I, I assume I went for Sludge Bomb. No, I do go for Spikes expecting a switch. Yeah, to uh, have set up more um, entry hazards for later. Leaf Storm actually takes out the card jump. Very nice. Get rid of that. That felt really good. Kapow! Yeah! Alex Zam comes in, they like to predict the switch, or just want to block my attack. Go for a calm, might actually knock them, knock off. Defense and HP on Alex Zam isn't all that great, so with super effective hit there, increase in power because I can knock on their item is very good. Scissor, sword stance, yeah, that's not going to do too great against Sandy because I can just whirlwind, and with spikes and stealth rock up, that's going to be big damage. To whatever comes in, especially if they're weak to stealth rock like Pyroar and Revile. I let Sandy take the hit now. Ice and are still hitting, it still hasn't missed. It would really be nice if it just missed at one point. The future in, reflects, knockoff, doesn't even deal half damage. What do I decide to do? Yawn is not gonna work. I decided to set up Lush They miss an Icicle Crash here, which actually maybe was a bad thing. I guess I can keep it now. It, it does mean Devastator get takes some damage here. I can set up the Dragon Dance, no flinch here, this is a better setup. I share Deal some damage, but I know the Waterfall is coming. And I still have to reflect up for three more turns in the Light Screen for one. Due to, uh, before Light Screen being set up, Light Clay getting, um, being gone. Super Sound Sky Strike takes out the Tangrowth, gets more attack boost. They don't have a Choice Scarf like Texas Man Gaming does in their Pokemon, so I have enough with the 1.5 times speed. Waterfall on Pyroar. See, once I can set up the Gyarados, I can make it work. Let's go Gyarados, Waterfall on the Scizor. Scizor gone. And we make it a third battle once again. I made it 2-1 in round 2. Can I make it 2-1 again and take bronze? This battle decides who takes that medal. The future against Scizor. They keep opening with Scizor. I go with my Meowsic, set up a Reflect. Yawn, that seems like the way to go. They they go sword stance, so they can either hit me and fall asleep, or switch and lose their sword stance. They fall asleep, so hey, that's a free setup for my for my Gyarados. I'll take it. Dragon dance, let's go. Supersonic Sky Strike and the KO on Garchomp. There we go. Extra boost and, and a big threat out of the way. That's where you do it. Um, here was confusion. I remember. I remember this, that Z moves just ignore the opponent's abilities and items. Um, as I figured out, Z moves do not count as contact moves, even though some of them, such as Breakneck Blitz, Super Sun, and Sky Strike, do look like they should make contact. However, because they can come off of moves that both make contact and don't, they just, they just don't count as contact moves whatsoever, to my knowledge. There's a few strange ones. Um, I feel like the grass knot comes to mind, like why does grass not make contact? I suppose I can make a theory about it because it's your own roots that hit the opponent, but it's kind of weird. Some other moves that are a bit weird also in physical and special, like um, Sacred Fire being physical, likely just in the use of ho -Oh's better physical attacks that than special. Some of them are a bit, are a bit weird, but the, it, it's just how it is, and a few moves like that actually make it pretty interesting. Anyway, I don't take the rough skin damage, which I'm happy with, I guess. 
I set up another dragon as knowing they're asleep. I can just get that extra setup for the extra power, extra KO possibilities. Scissor gone. Thank you, Spenpai Tarano, for that setup. Elekazam gone! Tank growth is, I suppose, in a sense, the most dangerous due to the fact that it might be able to. I, I probably want to go bounce on it because it resists both Earthquake and Waterfall. Um, but then what can it really do back? Reflect being gone, that's what they went for, let other Pokemon be KO'd, now they just need to hit hard physically, that's what they're going for. Sash on Weavile, Icicle Crash gets the crit, and the Ice Shard, and it works out for them. They needed the luck, they got the luck. He powered on his sent in, Sandstorm is up. I know I can just slack off, no, I instead of Stealth Rock, I decided to go for that instead of, instead of slack off. Either way, Earthquake wasn't necessary because Sandstorm would have taken it out. Tangleth comes in. Rosie, let's go. I know it can safely Sludge Bomb here because Pyro won't resist it either. Would they switch into that? Sludge Bomb on Tango. Takes it out. 4-1. Gyarados shows its worth one more time. Supported by everyone else in the team. So, not saying that everyone else is bad. It's just that Gyarados helped do it again. They went for Sunday, I suppose, the flamethrower, hoping that that would help them deal more damage against my Pokemon later on. I realized that wasn't the greatest idea, but then again, it, it, it's, I, I've had occasions like that where the moment I click a move or a moment a move happens, I'm like, no, I shouldn't have done that, that wasn't smart. Or once a move has happened and we've seen, oh yeah, that was a risk of critical hits or sleep or flinch or whatever, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But in hindsight, so many things are easier because you know what it could do. But, yeah, that was the battle spent by Terranon. Thank you for the very fun battles, both in Swiss and in Top Cut. I hope to see you back in many more tournaments. You're a very, very fun, very skilled opponent to play against. Let's see if in one of the coming tournaments you will finally get that elusive victory you are still missing. You have had many podium finishes, but you're just missing that victory. Maybe that will happen next time. Thank you, everyone, for watching this battle. Are we done with this tournament? No. Because I wasn't in the finals, so we are watching the finals. Storm against Texas Man Gaming. That will be the next video. So until then.